Sometime around 1980, Shigeru Miyamoto was developing his first video game based on Popeye. But shortly after, Nintendo lost the rights to the Popeye character. Miyamoto was then asked to design a new game based on his own ideas. The result was a game entitled Donkey Kong, starring Jumpman. Later on, Miyamoto noticed that Jumpman bared a resemblance to his landlord of Nintendo's office in New York. That was all it took to change Jumpman's name to Mario. There have been countless Mario Brothers related merchandise, TV shows, movies, and of course video games over the years. The following footage of Miyamoto's landlord portrays his bitter hatred for the beloved Nintendo mascot. Miyamoto, you freaking owe me! I let you name your fat ass cartoon character Mario after me! came to me and he was like, oh, I'm a struggling game designer, please give me a few more days to get my rent in. Freaking bastard. In 1988, Mario received pop culture's highest honor with his own cereal, Half Zelda, Half Super Mario Brothers. Mario's just one big cruel joke at my expense. Mario finally made it to the big screen in 1993 in the dreadful Super Mario Brothers starring woefully miscast Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo as Mario and Luigi. This film was poorly received by both critics and the public. It did win one award, however, as esteemed critic Gene Siskel named it Worst Film of 1993. Yeah, I'm glad that freaking movie sucked. In 1989, Mario even made his first big screen appearance alongside Fred Savage in The Wizard. Let's go back to the freaking Wonder Years, you piece of sh From side to side, come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Do the Mario! I'll do the freaking Mario! Why don't you swing your arms from side to side, Miyamoto? You got it! It's the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side, come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario! All together now! 